Hello everybody. I am Monishankar Mondal from the Computer Science and Engineering Discipline of Khulna University, Bangladesh. My paper is titled as Flex, a technique for suggesting fragment level similar questions candidates. The other three authors in this paper are Dr. Chanchal K. Roy, Dr. Bonani Roy, and Dr. Kevin A. Snyder. They are from the Computer Science Department of the University of Saskatchewan. I first would like to describe what questions candidates are. The questions candidates are those candidates or those software entities that have a tendency of changing together. Let's say we have a software system that contains many software entities. These entities can be files, methods, classes, or even code fragments. This is the target entity which a programmer is now going to change. Whenever we are going to make some changes to a particular software entity, some other related entities might also need to be changed to make the software system consistent. These other related entities are called the quotient candidates. If we do not determine the quotient candidates properly, then the changes that we make might contain some bugs. Thus, this is very important to determine the quotient candidates. In our research, our goal is to find the quotient candidates that are similar to the target entity, and we conduct our research considering fragment level granularity. Actually, each of the existing clone detectors can be considered as a technique for suggesting fragment level similar quotient candidates. However, there are some special techniques. The first one is clone tracker, which was introduced by Duala Ikuko and Robillard in 2008. The second one was proposed by Mondo Little in 2014. The third one called Train was introduced by Jablonski and Ho in 2007. There are some drawbacks of these existing techniques. The first one is dependency on clone detection parameters. Actually, each of the existing techniques depends on a particular clone detector. And the accuracy of a clone detector depends on different parameters, such as the minimum line threshold or the maximum line threshold, and also high time complexity. The clone detectors are generally designed to detect all groups of similar code fragments from the entire code base. Thus, these have a time complexity of big O of n square. So focusing on the drawbacks of the existing techniques, we propose a particular technique called FLEX, which elaborates as fragment level quotient candidate suggester. Flex performs a focus search of the quotient candidates considering the target fragment as the seed. And also Flex uses disk, that means the dice solution coefficient for detecting similarity between a target fragment and its quotient candidates. And here is the working procedure of Flex. Let's say a programmer is now working inside the IDE. After he has made some changes in the code, we can get the target fragment. After getting the target fragment, Flex searches the entire code base a context sensitive mining uh, to determine the quotient candidates. After determining the quotient candidates, Flex ranks those candidates using file proximity ranking. After ranking, the rank list of the quotient candidates is offered to the programmer. In our study, we have investigated six subject systems. Two of them has been detained in C, have been detained in C, three of them have been detained in Java, and on subject system has been detained in C sharp. We have also compared five techniques. The first one is flex, which was proposed by us. The second one is uh, proposed by Mondolitel in 2014. The third one is called Tarmac, which was proposed by Rothness Rops et al. in 2016. And this technique detects quotient candidates using evolutionary coupling. The other two techniques, CI flex and T flex, are two variants of flex. CI flex is the context insensitive variant of flex, and T flex is the combination of Tarmac and flex. We first compare the precision of these five techniques. We see that the precision of flex is always the highest among all the five techniques for ESO4 subject systems. Then we compare the recall of flex, recall of the five techniques. We see that the recall of flex is always higher than the recall of Mondolitio's technique and Tarmac. However, CI flex and T flex always have a higher recall than the original flex. Now we compare the FS scores of the five techniques. We see that the FS score of Flex is always higher than the FS score of Mondolitio's technique and Tarmac. However, T Flex has a higher FS score than the original Flex for five out of six subject systems. We have also investigated a suitable disk threshold for Flex. That's why we have determined the FS scores of Flex at different uh, levels, at different disk thresholds. 
So uh, these are 50, 60, 70 to 100. And we find that for 60 and 70, text provides the highest type score for use of the service systems. However, we have considered 70 because at this threshold, text provides a bit higher precision. We have also investigated two ranking mechanisms for ranking the question candidates suggested by FLEX. These two ranking mechanisms are mild proximity ranking and similarity extent ranking. We have determined the mean inverse position of these two ranking mechanisms. We find that the map, that means the mean inverse position of high proximity ranking is always a bit higher than that of similarity extreme ranking. We finally investigate the runtime performance of FLEX. We find that FLEX takes only a little amount of time for retyping questions candidates because its questions candidate retrieval mechanism is linear. That means it has a time complexity of big O of n. For our largest software system, FICL, the uh, questions candidate retrieval time is around 1255 milliseconds. At last, we can say that FLEX outperforms the existing code clone based and also association rule mining based techniques in detecting questions candidates. Also, the evolutionary history of a software system can considerably improve FLEX's efficiency in, in making fragment level question suggestions. We also find that a similarity threshold of 70% is the most suitable one for FLEX to detect um, fragment level question candidates. And also file proximity ranking performs significantly better than similarity external ranking in ranking the questions candidates suggested by FLEX. And thanks for your patience. All right, excellent. Um, thank you for the presentation. So we do have a question in the chat. So Sridhar asked, what do you mean by context sensitive code change candidates and how do you detect them? And then a follow up question on this is, is the definition language agnostic? Yeah, so it's a very nice question. So context, I also look at the context when I suggest questions candidates. Suppose there is a target fragment and for this target fragment, I would like to uh, suggest some questions candidates. So I look at the uh, uh, context of the target fragment and also at the context of the questions candidates and and I match the context. When those contexts match to a uh, uh, to a certain level, then we actually consider those questions candidates as the as the questions candidates. So this is about context. So if there is a code fragment as a target, then the prior four lines have been considered as the uh, as the context. And uh, is the definition language agnostic? Yeah, so this definition is language agnostic. Um, so uh, so uh, actually, this definition uh, can be applied to different programming languages. In our uh, uh, investigation, we have investigated three types of three uh, programming languages, Java, C, and C Sharp. So, uh, uh, and I think our technique can be incorporated for many other languages and even also for uh, projects that have been implemented with two or more languages. So our technique is applicable there. All right. Um, and then I have another question myself. Um, and the question is, so as you mentioned, you you use three programming languages, uh, C, yeah. C, and Java. And so my question, I was wondering whether you noticed any pattern in the performance of Flex uh, for the different languages? Oh, uh, so my honest answer is I did not investigate in that way. So uh, I did not look at any pattern. So, but I think it's a very good idea if we could look at some patterns and uh, yeah. Hello, can anybody hear me? 